So I just took out the door panel from the Mazda 3 and I gotta take this whole plastic piece off so I can get access to the back there. The problem is I forgot to put the uh, window back up. Mm, so I'm gonna have to plug that back in, which is no big deal. Interesting thing here is uh, the tweeter. There is no tweeter, but there is a plug for a tweeter. So that's kind of nice. Everything's already there. But I definitely need to get this whole plastic piece to access the back so I can put the uh, uh, mat or sound deadening mat on the back of the skin here because there is nothing there. If you look. Um, so I just gotta do that. I didn't want to record the whole process of it. It's pretty simple. Three screws on the handle and then just pops off and that's pretty much it. And then you just gotta undo the four plugs and these two. And I had to get that fixed because I just discovered somebody did a Mickey Mouse job on that. So one of these days I'll figure that out. But I also wanted to see the actual speaker size because this car has like literally the worst sounding system but uh that's for another time another day so let me get to that all right so this was a little bit more pain to sort of move but at least i got it going now you have to take this three out of here and get this off in order to get it off of that now i can move it but if you go around there are 11 bolts I was missing this one so it wasn't coming off once I got that one figured out now it's just kind of hanging you can take these off if you want but I'm not gonna bother because now I got room to uh, get right to this you can see how bad that sounds so now I can go ahead and cut the sheet lengthwise just like I did on the uh, Miata and just cover that and Back at the bottom is going to be a little harder, but as long as I get something up there, it should uh, help. But there we go. Alright, so I'm done putting one full sheet, cut it in half, put half on the top, and cut the other half or lengthwise in two halves. And I was able to get it in the middle and on the bottom there. Now, you have to be careful because once you take all these off, guess what? The window. Will just slide down here and here so I pushed it up so it'll get stuck over here because it was just coming down so definitely don't want to break your window while you're doing this just something I found out and it's pretty easy to change now that I took everything apart uh, since this is gonna have to come apart again for either some speakers at some time or whatever else um, at least now that's done and it doesn't sound completely hollow like it was so that's going to help and I did put the bottom two farther in towards the speaker the top one I did not so I just tried to get most of the panel here uh, but now I just got to put everything back together and uh, I should be done so let me get to that all right I just put everything back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So you got eleven for this cover. You have to take this three off for the window to uh, separate the window regulator on that. And this nut here and this one here is the actual window regulator. But in order to get this plastic off you have to take those off so when you do that make sure you catch your window because that's when the window it's gonna come down but if you push it up just kind of hold it up there and or have somebody hold it and it would be good it's not a big deal it just takes uh, some finessing and as you can see my sound deadening it's right behind the speaker and right here there's a support in the middle here and up top so this one is divided this one actually has one two supports 
versus the one on the Miata. So that's why you have three different pieces. But lengthwise, I just cut it in half. And then one of the half, I cut another, cut that in half. So I got these two long pieces. And that's all I did. I didn't cover, as you can see, I didn't cover every inch of the door. I just wanted to make sure it no longer sounded all hollow, which is good. I just gotta put the uh, cover back, but I want to kind of show you what's on here. The speakers, I don't know if it's a six by nine, but now I know why they sound so bad, even though it's, it's still good. It's only a 25 watt speaker. This thing sounds so really bad. So that's gonna get changed someday, but. Um, I guess for the soundproofing, maybe some of that um, spray foam on the back of the um, door panel might work better instead of getting all this stuff full of that junk. Put it on the back of the panel, spray it on there because there's nothing there. So let me show you. So if you wanted to put more sound deadening, I guess you can spray this because you just have the switch. And the handle there and that's pretty much it everything is just plastic there's nothing connected here just some extra stuff on there but that'll be easier just spray this and then be done with it and obviously you do want to get the other panels in the back but other than that that's pretty much it for the uh, sound deadening on the Mazda 3 now I gotta do it on all the other three doors